Boys and girls, anybody there? Hello? Where, where, where can they be, boys and girls? Hmm. Hold on, let me have a look. Well, boys and girls, I don't know where you are, but I'm I'm in Barton and uh, just waiting for you guys to come. And I can't see yet. Maybe I've got the wrong month, but. Um, I think I might have because uh, I say nobody is here. But boys and girls, welcome to a special uh, discoverers at home, uh, in your homes. But as you can see, as you can see, not in my home. Um, out in Barton the Beans, where hopefully we're going to have a great summer camp um, uh, in the end of July. But it's really good uh, for you to be here. Uh, so we're on episode 5 of Discoverers, season 7, and uh, we're racing through these already, aren't we? And uh, we've got Dench time, and uh, we've got Dennis time as well, and we're looking at these big, big questions. And today's question is, how does God let bad things happen sometimes? And uh, we can look around, can't we? And sometimes bad things do happen, and we wonder why. Well, we're going to try and answer that question for you today. But uh, boys and girls, you sit back, enjoy. I'm going to enjoy a bit more sunshine. I might go into the woods behind me and uh, see if I can find any rare animals a little bit later on. And uh, But I'll see you here back very soon. All right, see you in a bit. Bye. boys and girls the sun is out the sky is blue there's not a cloud to spoil the view and we're on our way to our next challenge and uh, we're going with this road so at the moment it is 2-1 to you guys at home the boys and girls are winning and uh, so we're going up to our next uh, door to find 
find out who's going to take Sarah on in this week's challenge. So uh, I can see a good parking space just here. I'm going to pull up. Hopefully there is somebody in and uh, we'll go and find out who's doing this week's challenge. Well, boys and girls, we've got a uh, we've got a path here uh, with some bushes. Um, a bit of a, a funny looking house, I have to say. But uh, let's go around here. Let's see if we can find a front door. Looks like there's a front door there, and uh, we'll go up. Let's go and see if anybody is in. Let's have a knock. And we'll find out who is doing this week's challenge. So here we are, boys and girls. We've got Grace May here. And uh, she's going to be doing the Discoverers Challenge for this week. So you've uh, seen how Sarah has done it. And uh, so what she's got to do, she's got a ping pong ball. She's picked a blue one. And she's got the glasses. And she's got to blow it along and see how many she can get. If it falls off... Then she has to start again. What does she have to do, John T? Start again. Start again. True. Excellent. True. Okay, all right, so there's going to be a minute on a timer. So when I say go, you start blowing, Grace. On your marks. Are you ready? Big deep breath ready, in. Grace? Ready? Go. It's, oh, it's tough, isn't it? It's tough. Oh, oh there we go. Yeah, there's yeah, one. Yeah. Excellent. Three. Oh, four. Come on, Grace. You can't do it. That's it, Grace. Come on. Come on, Grace. It's a bit tough. It's stuck. It will go. It will go. 40 seconds left. Yes. Oh, She's well done. It. You might need to stand up. You can go around the side stand if you up, want. Stand up. Stand up. Watch your hair. <laughs> Don't get your hair wet. 25 do seconds left. Come on, Grace. You can't do it. <laughs> she's running, she's running out of breath. Go on, get it. See if you can get it to the next oh, one. It nearly so close. Fifteen seconds left. Oh, guys! Couple keep more going, big puffs. Going. It's really stuck in that one, isn't it? Five, yeah. four, three, two, one. Stop. There we go. Excellent. So let's have a look. How many? One two three four five cups so grace we'll see if you have beaten sarah okay well done thank you very much boys and girls welcome back to dennis time this week and i want to start by asking you a question and the question is this has anyone ever done something mean or bad or horrible to you? So, for example, have you ever had someone tell tales or call you names behind your back? Has that ever happened to you? Or maybe, have you ever had someone be mean to you by pulling your hair or physically hurting you? Has that ever happened? Or maybe, if you're playing football, has anyone particularly kind of singled you out and they said, right, I'm going to get Hugo with every single tackle and I make a bad tackle on you time and time again. Or maybe you've been in your class doing a test and someone's been looking at your test results and copying. Now, has that ever happened to you? And if it does, how does it make you feel? Hmm, how does it make you feel? Because I think that when people are bad and mean and horrible to us, it makes us feel sangry. What kind of word is sangry? Well, it's sad and angry. Do you ever feel sangry, sad and angry? Yeah, I know I do. And it's right, actually, if people are mean and horrible and do bad things to us, it's right that we feel sad and angry. Can I have a sad face? An angry face. Sangry face. Yeah. Now, when we feel this way, what does the Bible tell us to do? Because we can pray and we can ask questions. And, and actually, our question of the week, by the way, is this. Why does God sometimes let bad people win? Why does that happen? Well, 
there are bad people in the world and sometimes they will do mean things to us. But how can we respond when that happens? Well, I'm going to tell you about a Bible verse. It's one of my favourite Bible verses and, it's, and it goes like this. It's from Psalm 58 and I think the person who wrote this psalm was feeling sangry. This is what he said. He said this, break their teeth in their mouths, tear out their fangs of lions. Do you ever feel that way? Yeah, I know I do sometimes. But the problem with God is, we can feel really, really sangry and angry and sad, and we can want to have their teeth pulled out. But actually, there's another verse in the Bible that says this, in your anger, do not sin. So how can we do this? How can we respond when God seems to be letting bad people win? Well, let me go back to that tearing out the teeth Bible verse, because I missed a few very, very important words. And here they go. You just watch them coming up just now. Here they come. Break the teeth in their mouths, O God. Tear out, O Lord, the fangs of lions. Look, when we feel sangry and angry and sad because bad people are doing mean and horrible things to us, it's right that we feel that way, but we say to God, God, I need you to deal with this bad person. Because we know, here's my last part of the psalm, Psalm 58, the very last bit says, Surely there is a God who judges on earth. God is the judge who decides what is right and wrong. God is the judge who will do what is right to bad people. Is that good news? Yeah, I think that's good news. Is it a little bit of bad news for us? It is, because we do bad things as well, don't we? You see, boys and girls, God will always do the right thing. Bad people will be dealt with. They will be punished one day. But that includes us as well. And so as Sarah is going to go on to explain, we need to have God's forgiveness as well, just like people who do bad things to us. And when we feel sad and angry and sangry, we can say to God, God, you're the judge. I know you will sort it out. Please deal with these bad people in a fair way, like a fair judge, deciding what is right and wrong. And may I be forgiven and may they be forgiven for the wrong things that we and they have done. Well, boys and girls, that's it for Dennis' time this week. Until next time, it's goodbye from me. And Simon, back over to you. that swim and all the birds that fly were made from your incredible imagination creator god we're singing to the creator god of all the world creator god we celebrate you we celebrate you you spread the ripples through the you painted stripes on every bee And all the grass that grows and all the leaves that fall
talking to the Creator God of all the world. Creator God, we celebrate you. Very, very exciting. Uh, so I'm in Barton, and behind me are the woods that we have some nature trails and bushcraft clearings in, getting ready for camp a little bit later on uh, in the year. And uh, I've been told that uh, every sort of if you're very, very quiet, you may spot a very rare animal indeed uh, in the woods. I'm going to go into the woods and uh, try and see if we can find the long-legged Levi. Uh, I've been told that uh, sometimes he's in the woods chopping and sawing and uh, uh, gathering sticks to make a nest of some kind. So uh, we're going into the woods now and uh, we're going to see if we can find him. Now you do have to be very, very quiet. And uh, following the path around, I think I can hear something. Uh, which way shall we go? Let's go around this way. Uh, through the path. I can, hear, I can hear something round over here. So if we follow this way round into one of the clearings. And follow this path. This is going to be absolutely amazing during the summer to be able to come in here and have lots of fun. So let's go around and see if we can spot this long legged leaf. I think, boys and girls, I think I've spotted something. Just around this corner, you need to be very, very quiet. He's here. I think he's actually, he's actually going to chop something. He's, he's sawing something now. So he's clearing things out. Look at those long legs, um, always bare, uh, only the top half ever covered. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer without being spotted. And uh, he's, there, he's trying to do something, maybe that's a, uh, a ritual that he's doing to uh, try to impress um, uh, maybe the long-legged female, I'm not sure, but uh, there we go. Boys and girls, we, we had better go because uh, before he spots us, but uh, we're going to find out. Boys and girls, we're going to find out who wins this week's challenge. Uh, okay, so we'll have Sarah's part and uh, then we'll find out from one of you guys at home whether you beat Sarah's score because at the moment it's 2-1 to the boys and girls and uh, we'll find out very soon who is winning so I will see you at the end of Discoverers at Home. Scissors tournament, best of three. You are gonna lose. Well, you don't. Okay, right. One, two, three, go. No. Oh, come on. Right. One, two, three, go. Oh, yes. No. Okay. One all. Okay. This is a decider. Right. One minute. It's <laughs> gonna get in your mind. I'm ready. Okay. okay. One, two, three, go. Oh no! Oh, it's, it's a draw. draw. Okay. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Okay, one, two, three, go. Oh, it's right again! Again! One, two, three, go! Yes! No! <laughs> okay, I lost. That's really sad. Boys and girls, I didn't win rock, paper, scissors. I need some more practice. But 
Our verse for today is from John chapter 16, verse 33. This is Jesus speaking. It says, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. So Jesus is saying that there is trouble sometimes, but he has overcome it. It's a bit like when me and James are playing rock, paper, scissors. So I won one of them, but James won two of them. So overall, James won. And it's a bit like that. So sometimes the bad people win in the world. But overall, Jesus has won because Jesus died for us. And Jesus' death on the cross means that he won overall. So like James won two and I only won one, I lost. But Jesus has won overall. So, but here's the thing. I need to make sure I am supporting the right team. Am I supporting Jesus' team? So we have to make sure that we're on Jesus' team because he is the winning team. And we need to think, have we asked him for forgiveness from the bad stuff that we've done? Am I supporting Jesus' team? I am. Are you? So Grace, uh, well done for yours. Now let's do part two. Let's see how Sarah can do and she, she can beat 
Grace's five cups. So uh, Sarah, it's over to you. Hello boys and girls, welcome to Discoverers this week. The challenge is to blow a ping pong ball across these glasses of water and to see how far I can get it in a minute. But if the ping pong ball comes off the side, I've got to start again. Okay, so I've got a minute on the timer. Ping pong ball in the first cup. Right, let's go. Ah, four, this is going good, right. Oh no. Right, from the start. No! Ugh. Okay. Let's, I'm blowing the water out. Let's keep going. It's all over me. No! Ah, oh, so, so close. Okay. Ugh. How do I do so well at the start? This is not fair. Okay. Right, let's let's go slowly. Ooh, I got four. Right, it's all over my glasses. All oh, five. Okay, here we go. No. Okay, I got to five. I can do this. Ah, no. Ah, oh, time's up. Okay. I got two five glasses along, so I got to here. Boys and girls, see if you can do any better. So we've had the two challenges. Grace has done hers, Sarah has done hers. Grace, she got five, and Sarah, she got five as well. So well done both of you, well done. Grace, you've kept the boys and girls ahead by one point still. So the scores um, are still, so one point between them. Uh, Sarah and Kez got two points. And boys and girls, you've got three points still. With still some challenges to come. So uh, well done for that. Next week, Kezia is going to do that same challenge. And again, one of you guys uh, are going to take Kezia on and see if you can beat her and if she's going to be any better than Sarah. But uh, for now, it's bye. And uh, we'll see you for next week's challenge. It was against the law to take more than one Bible into the country. And he had a car full of them. There were guards at the border. As he drove up, he prayed very hard. Lord, he said, you made blind eyes see. Please make seeing eyes blind. First, the guards checked his camping equipment, but they didn't spot the Bibles hidden in his sleeping bag. Then they pulled out his suitcase. The Bibles were right there, but somehow the guards still didn't see them. So they sent Andrew on his way. God had stopped the guards from seeing the Bibles. After that, Andrew went to other countries delivering Bibles. He gave them out to Christians in Bulgaria, Romania and Russia too. Hundreds of Bibles were delivered to Christians. Andrew soon found out that there was too much for him to do on his own. He needed others to join him. That was the beginning of the organization Open Doors, which ever since has helped Christians who are being badly treated because they follow Jesus. Today, Open Doors does a lot more than just smuggle Bibles. Sometimes Christians have to run away from their homes because people want to kill them. So Open Doors helps them with food, water, clothes and blankets. Then, when it's safe to go back, it helps them to rebuild their homes. In some countries, Christian children have no chance to go to school, so Open Doors helps them learn to read and write. In places where Christian children are bullied or have no other Christians around them, Open Doors brings them together for special days and summer camps. And Open Doors still smuggles Bibles into some countries in Asia, Africa and the Middle East. Someday, perhaps you will go on an adventure like Brother Andrew. But there are some things you could start right away. You could pray for Christians who are unfairly treated because they follow Jesus.
Christians who are being attacked for following Jesus can feel very alone. You could write a letter or draw a picture and send it to them. And there are lots of fun ways to raise money to give them what they need. Maybe you could even pay to send them more Bibles. Whatever you do, it will make a big difference to their lives. And it could just be the start of an adventure of your own. In the Bible, Jesus says, See, I have placed before you an open door that no one can shut. What would you like to do for others in your new adventure with God? Boys and girls, we've come to the end of Discovers at Home for this week. Uh, so thank you so much, uh, Sarah and Steve, um, for trying to answer this question for us. And uh, well, we have a wonderful God, don't we? He wants the best for us and he looks after us. He watches over us, provides for us, and he is there for us no matter what happens, isn't he? Well, boys and girls, uh, so I'm at Barton and I'm in one of the rooms now and uh, you can see the bunk beds uh, behind me. Maybe one of these will be yours over the summer for a few days and uh, if you're gonna come on one of the camps, but uh, we're really looking forward to this year and this new adventures that we're gonna have uh, over these next few years. But boys and girls, uh, thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to seeing you again next week for Discoverers at Home. And uh, hopefully I might be back at home by then uh, if I manage to finish off doing stuff here. But it's been really good uh, to be with you. And uh, hopefully next week we'll have Kezia uh, doing one of the challenges and um, Simon Says Time as well. And another question to answer uh, from the Bible, from God. Uh, himself. So, boys and girls, it's time to say tally hoes and toodle pips, and I'll see you very soon. Let's meet Jesus, God's one and only Son. He came to earth to save us, each and every one. Jesus, our King, the very best indeed. One time he rode into the town, sitting on a donkey. Into Jerusalem for all to see. People cheered and celebrated, waving palm tree leaves, shouting Hosanna, for the king had come that day. It's Jesus from Nazareth. That Jesus was crucified He gave himself up on a cross And then he died But three days later He rose from that grave His tomb is empty And our sins he forgave He is risen He is alive Our Savior, our friend Our King Jesus is A-OK -okay. And now we celebrate Jesus, our risen King, who came to save us. And for this, we sing and did amazing things to many to count. Let's all sing it, dance and shout. He did amazing things to many to count. Let's all sing it, shout it. Sing